Hello everyone, this is Ipshita, currently pursuing my Masters in English Literature and this video is the continuation episode of the series I am making on tips for English Literature students. You can also go to playlist of my channel and maybe check those. Thanks for the such a positive response in my previous two videos. Many of you asked for the book suggestions specially on history of English literature. So I am here. Any subject with any course has three kinds of books. First is the Oxford Cambridge Standard Books or you might say the most detailed, difficult and bulky godly books. Second is not so difficult yet not so easy wala medium standard books which is understandable by a single or couple of reading and I suggest my juniors to follow this category for college, university or entrance exams and third is most easy ones or you might call it before exam go to books mostly in short and MCQ patterns. So go from the easiest to the toughest for better understanding. So under the top standard books there is the Oxford History of Britain by Kenneth O. Morgan. This will give you the detailed study of the history but not literature. I won't recommend you to buy this book unless you want in-depth background study. This book has maths in it to understand background. I myself haven't went through the entire book as I used it as only reference purpose to study the important sections. But what I did was at the back of this book there is this chronological order of dates of special events and also has the tree diagram and flow chart of monarchy like the Tudor dynasty and the stewards to Victorian dynasty. So I went through those. Second in the order is the short Oxford history of English literature by Andrew Sanders. Is this short? <laughs> Not at all. Anyway, I have its third edition. Language of it is bit difficult but understandable. What my problem with it is, the writing style is in essay format without any points. Like you are reading one author and suddenly without any hint another author starts. So it gets bit clumsy time by time. But among the gold standard books, my preference is Literary History of England by Albert C. Bow. This book comes in four volumes. Here um, I have the first volume of the Middle Ages and rest of them are second volume is Renaissance, third is the Restoration and last volume consists the 19th century to afterwards. Well, to make you understand why I prefer this book, I am attaching the contents of this book in the screen. Like this is very detailed and is the amalgamation of previous two books. And at the right hand side, each pointers are also mentioned. So the second category books are the most important ones. First is English History by William J. Long. You have also seen me studying this in my previous videos and this book has illustrations of authors, important works and places in it. What is unique about this book is it points out the individual characteristics and writing style of any author. But a backdrop of this category books are after Victorian age, there are very less material for modern and postmodern age which gets problematic sometimes for further studies. Second is History of English Literature by Edward Albert. This handy and pocket friendly book is also surprisingly very detailed. I have probably went through the entire section in two months only. And probably that's why I have got glasses for my poor eyesight. And also the Routledge History of English Literature is very detailed and easier than W.J. Long. What I want to say is you don't have to buy these three books, buy any one. Information is more or less same in any book. So don't religiously follow this only. Understanding the concept is the main target. And then moving forward to the easiest books, I followed the glimpses of the history of English literature by Dr. Anushua Guha. You will find the Flipkart Amazon link in my description below. So uh, this is the one half actually of my book and other is somewhere on my desk. By seeing the condition, you can assume how much I have ransacked this text. Probably the most tortured book in my library. The language of it is very simple and easy. But, but the issue with this book is 
some of the names of the texts and dates are flawed and also there are short questions at the last pages along with chronology which is a bonus part of this book instead of it you can also buy an outline history of english literature by william henry hudson for brief study you will not find much details in this category books as i said previously last i would like to suggest a book from upkars it was really very helpful for my entrance exam to university which is an objective history of english literature through multiple choice and short questions i recommend this book for quick revision purpose only or a day before exam go to book you will get a very short intro of the age and the name of authors and list of texts they have written solving mcqs will definitely help you to understand it better with that i have come to the end of this video also let me know in the comment section if you want recommendations like this more on the other topics like terms types rhetoric and mostly mostly the classical texts and literature ones i hope this will help you my juniors to figure out and not get distracted and startled by the history part get one book from each category of your choice and you are sorted so all the best for your honors and enjoy reading bye bye